In this video, we share the top 10 facts and reasons that you should consider an Australian Labradoodle. Number 10, they are happy and healthy dogs. If you are looking for an Australian Labradoodle, you should search for a reputable breeder with a good history. To ensure that you get a healthy doodle, you should carry out the recommended health tests on both parents. Make sure that they've got good hips and elbows and eye test. Other than those two things, the Australian Labradoodle is a very healthy dog, and a healthy dog is a happy dog. Number nine, this designer pooch is highly trainable. Despite the generations of selective breeding to produce a gentle, well-mannered, and eager to please pooch, owners don't get away scot-free. You are always responsible for raising, socializing, and training a dog. Like all dogs, they respond best to positive reinforcement and a reward-based training. Encourage the behavior you want to see and reward it. This breed learns through the consequences of their behavior. Ignore unwanted behavior and avoid using alpha or adverse techniques at all costs because this dog is loving, caring, and ready to please. Number eight. This dog will probably need more haircuts than you. Breeders suggest that the Australian Labradoodle should attend the grooming salon every five to six weeks with daily brushings at home. This pooch will need to get used to being groomed. He is prone to nodding and matting, so it's more comfortable for them to get their coat well managed. Some owners like their coats a little longer. Others will clip them shorter. Shorter coats are less maintenance at home, but like many doodles, there isn't a solid grooming standard just yet. But one thing's for sure, they shed very, very minimally. So the other grooming requirements don't seem so bad. Number seven, they have a beautiful chocolate fleecy coat and some other colors. They tend to come in any color that poodles or labradoodles do, but most commonly you'll see the chocolate, but sometimes you'll see cream, red, apricot, caramel, or black. They are known for their fleecy coat, whether it be straight or more wavy, and some are also known to have a wool type coat. Whatever color or coat, it's going to be beautiful. The number six reason that you should consider an Australian Labradoodle is that there's a mini version. Like most poodle mixes, they are generally described as either mini, small, or standard. Minis range from 14 to 16 inches in height and weigh between 15 and 28 pounds. A medium is 17 to 20 inches in height and weighs 28 to 44 pounds. The biggest of the three is the standard which is 21 to 24 inches in height and can weigh anywhere to 50 to 70 pounds. At number five, they have a reliable and safe temperament. As this dog is a mature designer crossbreed and has been around for over three decades, their temperament is pretty predictable. Their long breeding period means reputable breeders should only breed from favorable temperament dogs. The unpredictability with crossbreeds generally occurs in the first generations, known as F1. While you can't be 100% sure of which characteristics your puppy will inherit, later generations produce more stable dogs. The number four reason why you should consider an Australian Labradoodle is that they make the perfect family pet. Speaking of temperament, later generation Australian Labradoodles are generally calm and well balanced. They have inherited the intelligence and trainability from their poodle and spaniel ancestors and the eagerness to please from the Labrador Retriever. Known as a perfect family dog, being energetic, 
playful but equally even tempered around young children and babies. When sourced from a reputable breeder and with the correct training and socialization, you couldn't want a more stable dog and loving dog. Number three, they are the best of everything mixed together. The Australian Labradoodle is more than a Labrador crossed with a poodle. It has several ancestors. To get the smart and trainable dog you see now, American and English Cocker Spaniels were thrown into the mix, along with an Irish Water Spaniel and Wheaton Terriers. The standard Labradoodle, on the other hand, is just a Labrador crossed with a poodle with no other breeds involved. Number two, they were first bred as a non-shedding guide dog. This breed has been around for at least 30 years now. Remember the story of why the Labradoodle was bred as a non-shedding guide dog? Well, that was actually the Australian breed, i.e. this dog. In 1989, Mr. Conran, the breeder of guide dog services in Australia, produced a litter of puppies for a visually impaired family who are allergic to dogs. That has turned us into the Australian Labradoodle, a non-shedding family dog that's energetic and easy to train. The number one reason why you should consider an Australian Labradoodle is that they are lovable. They love everyone and generally everyone loves them. Take them out into the world and let them experience what it has to offer in a safe and controlled way. Ask your puppy's breeder what socialization plan they had in place so that you can continue to improve upon it. Introduce them to people of all shapes and sizes, those wearing hats, coats, and helmets, let them meet other animals, farm, working, and domestic. Let them go for a swim. Take them anywhere and everywhere that you will go. You'll see that they'll love everyone, and we bet you everyone will love them. Thanks again for watching this video. We hope that you've learned more about the Australian Labradoodle and how it could be almost a perfect dog for you and your family. For more videos, please subscribe.